you know this building really, really well. Ah, uh, every single nook and, and corner. And intern. That's <laughs> yes. interesting. What did you do when you were here in Astro? Well, I was an intern for three uh, three months, and primarily um, they were looking for staff to help out for, at the time, the AIM Awards. Right. So they needed some sort of extra PAs. So that's what I did. I kind of shuffled around the office and did a little bit here, a little bit of there. Sometimes some other producer needed me for this or that. And and in the end, I was at the AIMs with my walkie-talkie and my ch- checkered shirt, just <laughs> like you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and uh, with my with my walkie-talkie, you know, hustling artists like M Nasir, Ning Baizura, uh, Innuendo, th- through the lifts and right. through the studios. Okay, it's your turn now, Ning. Uh, but Ning, please, can you come with me? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know if they even remember me that. So you really cut your teeth in the industry right from the the bottom up, like, basically, right? I guess so. Yeah. So was that was that your taste of what you wanted to do? Uh, not at all. Really? Uh, I had no ambitions of being an actress, of being a host, of being in the limelight. Um, it was just a, um, a job I needed to do. I needed to have money. Uh, somebody in, uh, within Astra actually asked me, uh, would you like to try it to be a host, a TV host? So I went for the auditions, but oh my God, was I nervous. Oh my God, my hands. You were nervous. I was you. absolutely just going to, my hands were shaking all over the place. I couldn't get my sentences right. And then they were like, okay, get up, get up, get up. Uh, you just be like, dulu, get to try lain kali, okay? Next time, next time. I'm like, okay, okay, that's not for me. So, but a year later, I got a call from an agent who asked me if I wanted to try out again for, um, to be a TV host, but for another station. Right. And that one, I aced it. Mm. But I had a strategy, so what is, that's okay. why. What What was the strategy? Well, I went into the room, and, and uh, this was an English infotainment show right. back in 99. Uh, or 2000, I think. And I got into the room and I was one of the last girls to walk in and there was maybe 40 girls sitting there waiting for their turn. And so I decided, based on my mistakes before, mm. I thought, you know what? I have the time. There's no like like queue or anything. You just go when whoever raises their hand can go. Yeah. So I decided I'm just going to sit in the very back and I'm going to watch every single girl one by one. Oh, man. I'm going to make notes about why that girl is bad and how she didn't do well what mistakes she made all those kind of points to remember not to do right. or to do okay so i was sat in the back and i think i was sort of the second last one to kind of go everyone had been dismissed 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 thank you everyone the room sort of slowly cleared off and then i did my bit and i walked outside the door the producer then said okay just get up, get up, wait then he came back to get me and he scolded me and then he's like, you are, uh, why you make me wait so long? <laughs> <laughs> I was dying inside because the client said they need a host in four days. They need a host today, if possible. So you made me nervous. You made me go through all these girls thinking, oh my God, never I, gonna I'm, find anyone, I'm right? never going to find a host. Uh, and I was like, mm-hmm. well, good things come to those who wait, uh-huh. right? They just offered me the job. Do you want it? I said, yeah, right. And you yeah. didn't even ha- didn't even have a script then. You didn't Nothing. know what role it was. No, just a basic storyline, okay. like summary of the story. And then I kind of asked, "Oh, so I'm um, quite curious. So when when will it be out on TV?" And she looked at me strangely, like, "It's not for TV. It's for the cinema." Then I died. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What?" Because at that time. Uh, there was a big movie they had just released called Left and an Adnan. Yeah, yeah. And I remember watching a movie at Mega Mall and there was this ginormous poster of Left and an Adnan and the hero. And then when she told me it's for cinemas, that's all that flashed in my head, you know. The gigantic that poster. That gigantic poster. <laughs> and like, you want me to do something like that? But okay, oh, so you that's weren't, you weren't thinking like I I am going to be on that gigantic poster? No, I mean I mean it was just it was just surprising and a little bit scary for for a minute or two. After that, I kind of adjusted. Do you think or do you feel like you've been typecasted, especially here in Malaysian cinemas? Uh, no, I don't believe so. It's just that I'm much more uh, remembered by horror movies. Um, and it just, it's been, it's stuck with people much more. I have covered all genres, basically. And then um, love stories, uh, romantic comedies, mysteries, thrillers. Yeah. Uh, art films Um, even now this year I've got two action comedies coming up one in March one in August I believe Um, 
but uh, but yes of course I think I think I've done five movies that are more towards the horror gruesome sort of uh, genres which is the most fun to do the most fun are romantic comedies right just because you're you know bumbling around a little bit it's all not too serious you can ad lib if you want right um, and if you make mistakes it's actually nice sometimes for a movie because it's like those accidental funny things that right you yeah you can just leave it in the movie and yeah. nobody knows it's like yeah. oh it was written like that no it wasn't <laughs> right um, but horror movies are um, they're exciting they're challenging but extremely tiring very 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 tiring not only because you'll have to it's mostly working at night obviously throughout the night it makes such a big difference working throughout the night and sleeping during the day both one being so much more exhausting to work at night and the other one resting during the day it's just not the same yeah right yeah it messes up your whole body clock and everything and then because of the complications and the technicalities of horror movies it usually takes longer romantic comedies you can cover within three and a half weeks and horror movies can take you know six to eight mu- um, weeks and you so it's extra 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 taxing on the body right mm. but if there is a you know a role that you would like to play what kind of role would that be well, the one thing that I have not been able to do yet is a warrior princess. Wow. Brangan. <laughs>